Hello guys, I am Pratanshu and you are watching Pratanshu Dev. In today's episode, I am going to show you how you can make input field in your Sina engine. We are getting started. Type variable name, this will be make it input1 equals to input field brackets and onion field is ready. You can take a look. Type anything in there. And then you can also give him some default value if you want to. All value equals to hello. Remember, you cannot remove the default value. You just type before that. I'm not going to give it a default value. After that, you can hide contact. Hide underscore content. And then if you search to two, normally search to false or different. If you type anything, it will look like you are typing a password. So after that, you give it a value of chicken. And another parameter called limit. Content to what is this? Do anything you type in there and we type in all the numbers. That means that if I type anything else leaving those numbers, the type don't take them. So just take the numbers. Limit it to anything. We just want to the user to give just any four values like ASDF. If it has anything else, it won't take just the ASDF. If you have making something like that, this is pretty useful. Then you can also change the text color. This text, text underscore color equals to color dot bold now uh, just say anything you type in there will be in the color of the gold it's going to take everything as default and not going to give any parameters in it i'm also going to make yeah you can also add a label you want a label it is a name the label You can type anything to label. What will happen? See over here, the label is not visible. If you type there, it will say always it will say true, 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 true. I'll explain the label to you guys later. And now let's see. Now I'm also going to make a button B1 equals to button. This machine is scale equals to zero point three point three comma x. You see, it's y y equals to zero point five. So now I'm going to make a deep function, deep, and then name it print, and the type global. I'm just getting the global variable input one. Now I'm going to print that print input one dot text. You need to print the text and then now type b1 on click what is happening is that when we are what is happening is that when we have made the button when we press that button we are going to print the text inside there let's do the test 
I just told them there is nothing. So I can type anything I want. Like hello. I print it see here. Hello. And type anything and then print that. Remember if you still hear your text over here. So then it will still be the same. So here you can see what is there to print the content. If you want, you can add a tooltip to it. Tooltip can be added to any UI. Just Input one dot tool tip, which will be in the pop up. And that tool tip, then it's text. Let me give you a text of type. And whenever I get there, it will be the tool tip of type. Or I'm pressing that. You can see what we have. Now I will take a look that it is giving true and false. Let's see what is that about. Now press the use to that means you are editing. If it's out of that it means false that you are not editing. Now that's it for this video. I'll meet you later. Bye guys.